hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm virtue i'm a second oh i'm a third year civil engineering student at the university of southampton and i have a youtube channel supposedly you know what for the past couple of months i kind of forgot that i had a youtube channel no i knew i had one but i was just like the love wasn't there but now i feel better and i feel ready to deliver good content okay and so also third year was way harder than i thought and so i had to take a little break break off youtube just to concentrate and i know i was praying that it, it paid off like when i got when i got my results like that's why i took a break from youtube because i did that and you know what it did so it's currently monday today and i got my results on thursday i feel the right i filmed the live reaction i might include it or i might not um so today's the results day and i thought i would film my live reaction opening my third year semester one results and hopefully it's good because then it justifies me taking a break from youtube well i didn't take a break from youtube i film videos but then i just don't upload them um it's currently alexa what's the time it's 11 59 <laughs> my results <laughs> my results come out of 12 um so here's my laptop <sighs> So I'm just gonna log in. While I log in, I'm just gonna tell you briefly the, um, so in semester one of third year, the modules I did was geotechnics, geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, human factors in engineering, and highways and transport engineering. So there was four modules I did semester one. Semester one is 15 weeks. It starts like beginning of October, finishes like the end of January. And so I had two exams, Two exams of one coursework and one 5,000 word essay. So the, the the geotechnics exam, okay, that one was a bit, that one was so hard. Okay, it was so, um, yeah, I did not expect an open book exam to be that hard. Anyways, I did it, like, like it was due at 10 a.m. because it was 24 hours and I submitted at 7 a.m. I needed the whole, I needed like 20 hours minimum. Um, then I had my highways exam, which was all right. They slapped in like an essay question at the end, like a 25 marker. So I was like, oh, so you really had to think and like answer properly. And then for human factors, it was a six, 5,000 word essay, or well, 5,500, because it was a plus or minus 10% word tolerance. And I wrote like 5,500. And I, I felt like I did well. However, like essays are my strong suit. So like, I could say I did well, but um, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna send you an email or if I'm just gonna. Oh, my heart's okay beating. Okay, and then with structured engineering, <laughs> um, we did a. It, it was like a. It was during exam season, but it was a one week exam. But trust me, you need the whole week because there were sets of fat questions. Like the brief was like five or six pages long, and you'd have the whole week to complete it. Like you have to draw a SAP, and that, a SAP model to get all the moments you need to do the calculations for your columns, beams. Okay, my, my, my results are out. Uh, oh my God, 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 oh my God. For geotechnic engineering, I got 76. For structural engineering, I got 92. Highways and Highways and traffic engineering, I got 71. What? Oh my God, I knew this. I told you, human factors, I got 68. I cannot afford to have a flipping 60. Mm. The th I had a feeling I wasn't gonna get a stupid, stupid view. Honestly, I need, to, it, oh, I need to ask what other people got. I swear on my living body that this doesn't make any sense. I promise you I did everything on that brief correctly. This is what I'm telling you, when you get psychologists to mark your work, they're just gonna slap you with a key one and think that's all right. Anyways, so I got 92 in my structural engineering. And I'm really I'm really happy about, and I got 76 in G, I'm really happy about that because um, um, I'm happy. It's just that this six years is gonna lower my average. Okay, so third year of, first semester of third year, I took four modules. And I got my results on Thursday, as I said. And now I'm just gonna go through it with you all. Because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like on YouTube, there's a lot of, there's a lot of medics, there's a lot of like humanities students, like essay, like not essay, like English, literature, law. There's not enough STEM. Or like enough STEMs in the UK. I used to watch this girl, um, but she does STEM in America and sometimes it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna log in and try to get my results. So the four modules I took in um, for semester one were human factors and engineering, 
geotechnical engineering, structural engineering and highways and transport engineering. I enjoyed all my modules. Oh my gosh, but I don't enjoy doing basically six modules in because I had my individual project, which is like a dissertation, it's two modules worth, and it was just a lot. Anyways, okay, so I'm on SUS, which is a, like our uh, our Southampton base website. So I'm gonna go to my student records so we can see my breakdown and then I can tell you a little bit more about the different modules. So I go to student services. No, I don't. Do I? Oh, I go to assessment marks and classification, academic year 2020 to 2021, programs, MN, civil engineering, and then I'm going to look for my assessment and component marks. Okay, so we're going to start with geotechnical engineering. Before I tell you my results, I'll tell you a little bit what geo is. Geo is all about the soil, earth, mud, all about, like, we, st we started this module from first year, it was called soil mechanics, then in second year, no, in first year it was just called something else. In second year it was called soil mechanics, and in third year it's called geotechnics, and in fourth year we do take it's called advanced geotechnics. So basically, this module's carried you carried started from all the way from first to third and fourth year. Okay, um, for this module we it was split into two: fifty percent coursework, fifty percent um, exam. The coursework was basically you had to design retaining walls, so you had to come up with that, you had to resolve the forces, you had to see the earth pressures, you had to see the like. Um, the pore pressures, it seems like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I do, but I just can't remember right now. And then we had this um, software that did like the soil analysis called Through. I got, uh, for that embedded detaining wall exercise, I got 83 out of 100 and that was 50% of my mark. And then for the final assessment, so the um, exam, that exam was so hard. Even though it was open booked, all my days, that was the hardest exam I've sat. And we had 24 hours to do it and I, I submitted at 7 a.m and it was due at 10 a.m so i took more than 20 hours to do it. I, I was so sleep deprived but i managed to get 60 out of 100 it's not first but overall average i got 76 percent for my geo module which is like a good 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 first and i'm happy about that okay so the next thing i did the next one on my list is structural engineering okay structural engineering i already explained in my previous video it's all about it's due to structures and their loads so like bridges buildings dams and it just really large structures okay so my first um so the main t the, there's the two main materials for structures are steel and concrete so it was split into 50 50 one half was steel one half was concrete and the first half we did steel was a coursework because so there was no exam for structure in general it's just all coursework um the steel assessment was a week long thing and all oh my days i've never been assessed like i've been assessed like this in my life it was so intense the days were blurry you needed all five days as we were working from like 8 a.m to 4 a.m every day consecutively and like every, i'm glad that everyone found it hard because after the examination not the exam but assessment period we were just discussing like bro did you find that i was like yeah what the actual hell it was mad anyways it's still i got 87 out of 100 that was 50 percent of my course and 50% of my module grade. And then the coursework, the concrete one was also another like five day assessment period during exam period. And that was also hard, but I feel like I was prepared for it because like we knew what the steel one was about. So we knew that we had to be on our game. And that one I got 96 out of 100, which leaves me of an overall average grade of 92. So I got 92 in structural engineering. And then highways was split into three, two essays and one exams. No, and the one of the essays was a group different design project. Basically, you had to design a roundabout, okay? And it seems simple enough, but it wasn't that simple. For that um, final S, that junction design, I got 67 out of 100 for my group work. Listen, I was always do the group work always destined to do worse in, than if it was an individual project. And then for my essay, I got 70 out of 100, which is the first, which I'm happy about because, bro, I can't do essays. That will bring on to human factors. And then for my exam i got 74 out of 100 we left which left me of a 71 percent average for for what um what's that thing called oh for highways basically um and then last but not least human factors and engineering it was an optional module the rest of them you had to take but this one was an optional module and i did it in semester one because normally you have your two optional modules in semester two but human factors and engineering was interesting i liked it i was passionate about it People always said it was a cop-out module, but shut up. Because all my uh, all my lecturers were psychologists, 
I don't think it really matters. Anyways, I feel like sometimes engineers, we lack human interaction or like common sense or like if you just take logic out of it and just look at it, like I feel like we're too, I'm not playing to the stereotype, but sometimes we're a bit too robotic with it. And you need to remember that you're designing this, you're building this, you're, you're innovating this for humans, the users, and we want to see how they engage with it. And that's what human factors and engineering was all about, like user engagement, like cognitive situation awareness. And it was really interesting. But I thought when I submitted that essay, because it was just one assessment, which is 100% of our grade, which was that one 5,000 word essay, plus or minus 10% word tolerance. So I submitted a 5,500 word essay and I gave it my all. I've never referenced, oh, I've never read so much in my life. And my reference page was two pages, two and a half pages long. And I was thinking, damn, okay, this is gonna be like an 85 or like a, a 75 or at least the first. Then I got a 68. And I'm happy with that. No, I'm not. I, I, I wanted more and I feel like that drops my average. But um, turns out like with humanities and the essays, like 80% is publishable. So they don't actually give out like 80s or 70s that easily. Yeah, you can get 96 in structures because like it's calculations. I know whether I'm right or not. I just get that feeling. But with this essay, it's all about, it's all like subjective. Not even su subjective. It can be interpreted in a different way. One section I could have thought I did great. The other person's like, I wasn't really feeling your vibe. Anyways, overall I got a 77% average, but if I take away human factors because it was only meant to be a three module semester, I got an overall average of 80, but with human factors I got 77% for the semester one. Which I am really happy about. I might, it sounds like I'm really smart, but I promise you I'm not. Bro, I just tried my hardest this, this semester because this semester is 40%, no. Um, this third year is 40% of our degree grade and then next year is 40% and I just know fourth year is going to be hard, darling. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get like a 75% average minimum this third year and um, in semester two I have two modules, design three and what's the other thing I'm doing? Railway engineering and so far so good but design's a group project and what do we know about group projects? You just always capped at 2-1. Anyways, I hope you, you enjoyed this rundown, you've seen my results, hopefully you can like, I don't know, I give you an insight of what like <laughs> examination process is like for a civil engineering student. I hope to be more active in this YouTube channel, but if you have any more questions or anything you'd like to see, drop it down.